Hey, since the pandemic started, people have uh, looked to him for advice on how to handle COVID. Uh, he is the top infectious disease doctor in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Anthony Fauci. Oh, wow, Dr. Fauci, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Of course, everybody has been talking about the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and uh, people were scared when they heard about the vaccine being put on pause due to people having clotting issues, Uh, even though it may, you know, been a small percentage. Do you feel that the vaccine is safe? Well, right now, that's what the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices is looking at, uh, and hopefully we'll get a determination by Friday. I think the thing that you mentioned, that's quite correct. This is an extremely rare complication. Six people out of seven million who received the vaccine. I think what this process shows, the fact that it was put on pause, is an indication of how exquisitely careful the regulators and the CDC are in making sure that the vaccine is safe. And that means that if they come back and say, okay, we're good to go, maybe with some warnings or whatever, The vaccine is very, very efficacious, and relatively speaking, it really is quite safe. So let's hear what they have to say on Friday, but I'm fairly certain that they're going to come back and say, you know, this is a very, very, very rare complication. Well, what do you say to people who are now concerned about getting vaccinated, considering bad batches of Johnson & Johnson prior to and now this recent pause? Well, you know... If you turned it on the other side of the coin, would you would say that there have been now, you know, uh, 160, 180 million people have received at least one dose of a vaccine. Only 7 million of those doses were J&J. All the rest were the Moderna or the Pfizer mRNA. And the same surveillance system that picked up that extremely rare adverse event with the J&J have been monitoring those other vaccines, and there have been no indication whatsoever that there are any red flags, which to me tells the public that the system that monitors for safety is really working, and those vaccines are really quite safe. So it's understandable how people will say, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? But what you're actually seeing is an extremely sensitive surveillance system to look for the rarest of all rare complications. Right. So with all of the variants that are spreading around the country, how do all of our current vaccines stand in efficacy against those? You know, really quite well. The one that's the dominant uh, variant that's going around that is really the one that is prevalent in most parts of this country right now is the one that originated in the UK, in, in the United Kingdom, It's called the 117, the B117 variant. Thankfully for us, our vaccines that we're distributing work extremely well against that variant. And that's the reason why that that variant, which actually spreads quite more efficiently than the older virus that we were exposed to. It's the same thing. It's still the SARS coronavirus. It just has the capability of spreading more rapidly, which is all the more reason why we need to get people vaccinated as quickly as we possibly can. Today's an important day, April 19th. Now, everybody who's an adult 16 years of age or older is now eligible to get vaccinated. So when you go to a place to get vaccinated, they can't say, well, you're not in the right category. It's open season for everyone, which will make it much easier for people who want to get vaccinated to get vaccinated. That's the solution to getting us out of this difficult situation we're in right now, is to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as we possibly can. And, and Dr. Fauci, there's a trend of people who feel like because they have been vaccinated that they that they do not need to wear masks anymore. And vaccinated people yes. still get and spread COVID? Well, you know, what what could happen is that you're vaccinated and you're really quite safe in the sense of getting sick but what we don't know yet and we'll find out this pretty soon that when you're vaccinated you may get infected not know it and have absolutely no symptoms at all however you can have virus in your nasal pharynx in your nose in your mouth that you could inadvertently and innocently pass it on 
to somebody else who isn't vaccinated. So it really is as much protecting the community as it is protecting yourself. And until we get the level of virus way down in community, until we get more and more people vaccinated, that's why we say in order to be really cautious and really eliminate even the slightest risk, that's why we're asking people when they are out in public to wear a mask. If you're in your own home and you have vaccinated people in your home, you don't need to wear a mask. You could have physical contact. If you want to travel, travel is much, much more safe for individuals who are vaccinated. So every day we get three to four million people vaccinated. And pretty soon we're going to have enough people vaccinated that the level of virus in the community will get very low. And then you could see starting to be pulling back on some of the restrictions, the public health restrictions. So if you want to get back to normal, we should just encourage everyone to get vaccinated. That is uh, Dr. Fauci. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and everything that you continue uh, to do to keep the country informed and safe. And we hope that you can come back soon. We really appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up uh, for the one and only Dr. Anthony Fauci. (laughs) 